Well, hello, it's me again. Time for another how to play video. This time, a song from my solo album, Easy Does It. And the song is called uh, Don't Take It Too Hard. As one should never take life too hard. You know, easy does it, one day at a time, so on. Uh, the song is in normal uh, E tuning, standard E. So it's E, A, D, G, B, E. All right. And the guitar I'm using is my, my Tokai, it's about 10 years old, Tokai Lavrak, Les Paul standard kind of thing with EMG 8185 pickups. I have a DR10 to 52 set. And this is a. Uh, usually I, I have jumbo frets on all my guitars, but this has a medium jumbo frets. So, so uh, I haven't changed and I haven't shaved this neck because this. Uh, well, it sounds just so good as it is, and, and it's cool to have sometimes little, you know, variations of your guitars. <laughs> so uh, I didn't use this one on, on the on the album. I used I used this my signature ESP, but since this is now tuned down one whole step to D, because I I did a couple of days uh, how to play video of uh, John Five track from my solo album. So uh, that has a little bit uh, thicker strings and, and so on. So, but this is not in, in E standard, so I'm doing this with this. This with this. Uh, it's pretty, there's quite a lot of going on on this track. So uh, again, one take. First take goes live. So let's see how it goes. So first I'm gonna do a playthrough and then I'm gonna go through the parts and riffs and licks separately. All right, uh, let's kick the wah on because it starts with the wah. Wish me luck.
Okay, alright, uh, yeah, wasn't perfect by any means, but, uh, yeah, sometimes it is like that. Uh, yeah, there was a few this and that, and maybe I should have warmed up a little bit, <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I just grabbed the guitar and decided I'm gonna do a video for this song, which is pretty hard to play. Anyway, uh, the, fir the first lick, it, this is uh, in, in, in the key of uh, uh, G major, which is, uh, you can think of the positions like as you will play in E, e minor, which is a real relative key, because I think when I play this, I think that I'm playing in E natural minor, although the, the song is in G major, because the chords are the, the classic, you know... Black Parade or a sneezy big gun. And, and don't take it too hard. Anyway, uh, the first melody uh, it starts with the wah, and I, what I have now here is is uh, my GTOD MXR then to Friedman DOD distortion. Uh, then a uh, delay and a uh, wah, which is now a full tone Clyde Deluxe. simple uh, melody and then comes the, the the classical part which is basically just uh, kind of Paul Gilbert inspired uh, lick where it, it's it goes with a G and an E string so it's a string skipping all the time so it's it's like a, that's like the first position of G major Going down to the G major scale. So, and then when you play it a little bit faster. Like that. So the ending is. Alright. Then comes the kind of first verse, uh, which goes like uh, this. Joe Satriani, you know, those wah uh, based melodies, and of course, a little bit slash in there always. And then comes the reggae part, just basically rolling down the volume. Here, G major, D major. minor, C major, B e major, and then the ending is like a All right, and then comes again the, the I'm 
playing that lift a lot better now than I did on the playthrough. Maybe I'm a little bit warm. All right. And then comes a second verse, which goes like this. <laughs> So uh, again on on a uh, G major or E minor, how you wanna? So it's a. Uh... And basically the same lick what I did on the first verse, but octave lower. And, and then this Eddie Van Halen trick when you do the drill and then you put your slightly touching so that you can get this or you may do this with your your uh, side of the pawn but I'm, I, I'll do it with this this part of the so just put my thumb there like that and then comes again the the reggae part uh, and then comes a uh, uh, C section, uh, which goes like Oh yeah, there's a, yeah, it starts So it's a C, B, B flat, but it, I, I take the fifth here, the low fifth Down back three. And then the part starts. That comes three times, and then the third time the drums go nuts. So I really need to go one, two, three, four, one. Don't listen to the drums, just play the riff. Otherwise, you'll drop. And then comes the kind of solo part when I'm hitting the chorus on the album. I played it with a whammy on the D tune uh, effect, but I, I don't have a, have a whammy with me now, or I have it, but I was too lazy. I have too lazy to hook it up on my board. So it's it's just like it's really lush chorus. It's kind of D tune, basically saying what the whammy does, but the whammy has the pedal. So on the album, I got a whammy. Uh, make made the chorus even even uh, faster. So it's I will take it out now, so you can actually hear what I'm. So. Fifth low, low fifth. D and then B slightly bent. Tony Yomi can and slightly bent from G. And then again comes the... The string skipping lick, and then comes the, the intro lick again with a wah. And you have to, when you play, remember to, it's not like... 
but you rake the strings and you're like really you get the feeling there and you know raking is just you so you mute mute these strings it's a difference how, how you play it because this sounds at least to me much more powerful and Not all, all the time, but it's good if you want to really make the notes sing and sound powerful. And then it ends with uh, Ben from from uh, F to G, which is a minor third of the E minor. Well, this is in G major, so it's the bending to the root. All right, uh, that was Don't Take It Too Hard. I uh, hope you, you found this informative and interesting because uh, I'll be doing this more I uh, just have to learn all the solo album songs first because it's it's uh, quite a while since the album was recorded even though it was released uh, just a little bit over a month ago but it was recorded two years ago so I'm kind of relearning my my stuff here and after I've learned the song I'll do the video <laughs> so uh, yeah uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like, please subscribe and, and please uh, subscribe uh, and check out Cyrus YouTube channel as well. I don't know where I'm walking, where's the camera? Because I'm seeing myself on the phone, some you know, iPhone thing. Uh, I'll be doing, when the Cyrus album comes out, uh, I'll be doing, or maybe me and Jesper, or, or we'll see, we'll be doing a how to play videos from uh, Cyrus ap uh, album when the album is out too. So, uh, uh, take care, uh, be nice to each other, and uh, see you soon. Bye.